Have you ever been stuck trying to remove a specific item from an array? Imagine this, you're trying to make a shopping cart feature where you need to delete the item that the user doesn't want anymore. How could you go about using JavaScript's native array methods to go about removing the product ID from your shopping cart? Hi everyone, this is Ting from Code Mentor. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to remove a specific item from an array using JavaScript's native array methods. Let's quickly go over how to use Splice. Here I've prepared an array filled with fruits and a unicorn. So to remove the unicorn using Splice, our first parameter is going to be the index of the item we want to remove. Right over here, it's two. So the second parameter is how many items we want to remove. So here we have only one unicorn. So as we output it, we'll notice how the output of the splice function returns the removed array or the removed unicorn in the array. While on the other hand, when we console log the fruits variable, it becomes a full fruit salad, no more unicorn. So something to be extra careful about when you're using splice, the original array is mutated, meaning you're changing the original array. But what if we don't want to mutate the original array? Let's take a look back at the fruits array again. This time, we don't know where the unicorn is. And here, we're going to be using the arrow function syntax in ES6. So we're going to, one, copy the array, two, find the index, and three, splice it. Let's hop into the code. So first, we're going to be creating a function that takes an array and item as parameters. First, we're going to copy the array by using the spread operator so we don't mutate the data. Next, we're going to be creating a variable index to find the index we want. Um, here, we're going to be using find the find index method. This will find the very first element that satisfies the condition. But if it returns negative one, then that means there wasn't that element that fit the condition. So to use this method, we're going to type in the condition that we want to satisfy. So next, to make sure we've found the unicorn, we will check for the variable index, then splice it to remove the item. So recall how when we're using splices, um, the splice method, the first parameter is the index of the item we want to remove. And then the second item, or the second parameter, is how many items we want to remove, in this case, one. So then finally, we return the variable new array to get the output. So after running, the code, we'll see that the output for the remove item is just an array of fruits, while the original remains unchanged. What if we have more than one unicorn? Because find index will only return the first element that satisfies the condition, we're still left with another unicorn here. So if you need to handle duplicates, there's a more straightforward way we'll show you in the next method. Let's talk about the filter method. Unlike splice, which mutates the data, filter creates a new array with all the elements that fit the condition. We can also handle duplicates this way as it checks for every single element in the array. So let's hop into the code and see how we can go about this. So the filter method is very similar to find index in that the first parameter is the conditional function. So when we're outputting the code, we'll find that new array with new array, both of the unicorns are removed, but when we check again for fruits, it's still the original array and it remains unchanged. So as you can see, there's many ways to remove a specific item in an array. Splice and filter are just some of the common ways to use native JavaScript's methods. So the two main key takeaways we have for today are, so the first, removing duplicates. Filter can directly handle duplicates while Splice would need extra help. Second, data mutation. We need to be aware of data mutation in these methods. For instance, splice would change the original array while in filter, it creates a brand new array. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Tell us what you've liked, what other topics you'd love to hear from us about, or just say hi to us in the comments below. Don't forget, like and subscribe for more content.